Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them who is them, their wives, according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. So what is this saying here? Okay, likewise ye husbands, dwell with them, your wives, according to knowledge. So this is pretty much saying be understanding of your wife. Be considerate of your wife, which we all need to if you are married. Okay. Giving honor unto the wife. What does honor mean? Let's look it up. Mm, high respect, esteem, and the one that I really like is this one down here. Regard with great respect. So respect your wife. If you can't, well, perhaps you should not get married. Okay. So respect your wife as unto the weaker vessel. This is saying that your wife is weaker than you. So you have to be understanding of her. You have to be considerate of her. I know some women believe that they are as strong as men. No. Now, there are some really tough women out there, but from what the Bible is saying, you are the weaker vessel. And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. So this is saying, husbands, guys, if you don't respect your wife, if you are not compassionate to your wife, this is saying that when you pray, God is not going to consider your prayers. Now, God is omnipresent, so he is going to hear everything, but he is not going to... What word am I looking for? Yes, he is not going to consider your prayers. So you are wasting your time if you are trying to pray while treating your wife poorly. So it is in your best interest to treat your wife rightly. Or, hey, don't get married. <laughs> so let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.